What's going on everybody coming at you with another R6 video I'm going to spit it off on Orthodox We are going to be talking about um, the R6 Sugar Fright event uh, I mean it's I guess not it's to me it's not really an effort it's to me it's really it's to me it's a lazy approach to what siege needed obviously if you look at other content creators a lot of them will say that you know this is what siege needed in a, in a way although the halloween event to me in my personal opinion was very to me lazy i feel like this to me it wasn't that you know really thought well to be honest it was just brought up to the attention that siege needed another playlist to appeal to the social or maybe casual uh, group in siege that I mean don't get me wrong this is a good addition for warming up I would say that if they added this into the game just for as a holiday event why not revamp T hunt or just add it as an extension to T hunt to either practice against you know like I guess the so called war in this game that is almost non existent besides bio pages and trailers you might as well just add this to the game make the terrorists updated you know like actual ai like mimic player behavior with movement or just keep this as a playlist as a whole like a social pretty much a social playlist like you can put it as a regular map or make smaller maps that aren't even designated to be like a, on a ranked or even casual playlist let's just make like a shooting range type area like do something although people will say that you know maybe you're being a little too hard on the game or etc but it's just like it took this game at least five years, four or five years, to just put a, a respawn mode. Which can be argued that this game wasn't meant to be like that. It was supposed to be hardcore, but still, if you were trying to appeal to the more casual group of people who play this game, this could have came out way better. You would have had a better user retention and so forth. Since this is Ubisoft's best game for the past four to five years, I could say, I could say that because I've actually done my research and even done a marketing paper on this during one of my college classes. This is literally their best game to date until maybe Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but honestly, then they'll probably have a month or two of good sales and then they'll probably drop, depending on if the game is bugged out or not. With Ubisoft does have a tendency to drop games with a lot of bugs as Watch Dogs or the last Assassin's Creed, which wasn't bad. Assassin's Creed Odyssey was good. But in regards to the event, it's supposedly going off the synopsis that Frost is eating too much candy. She goes into a sugar coma practically, meets a bunch of people in the game, and now they're fighting each other until her sugar coma goes away. To me, honestly, the weapon selection is very poop. I mean, the R the R4 attack C with an ACOG scope is, I mean, hey, it it gives you flashbacks to year one, which I mean, everyone can you know probably agree that the gun was pretty disgusting, especially with the bolo lean, you were damn near unstoppable as long as you hit your shots. But other than that, a three gun selection with a couple of characters on each team, and the end of the fact that the skins added for this event as a whole was just very like, what were they thinking? I, I, I honestly, just based off the skins itself, was just very lazy, like. So they probably were talking in the meeting room, all, you know, coffees, papers in hand, looking at each other like, dang, what can we do? What can we do to do something rare? And maybe one of their grandmas or moms was just sitting in the corner waiting for the meeting to be done, knitting a sweater. Or they seen a, a commercial about knitting or a, a, a thick old coat from Burlington Factory. Something. Because these skins are freaking boo-boo. There's maybe like one or two skins that are actually like, if you stare at them long enough, they might be considered creepy, but they're just cursed. They just, they're just cursed. It's real cringe. Other than that, uh, I will say as an effort wise of the whole event, out of 10, to me it's a 4. To me it's a 4. Like, they're small subtle things if you shoot. Uh, like an avatar, like a castle avatar that's laying on the map, or any of the characters, they'll lose their clothes, or if you shoot your gun on the wall, it's actual different colors every time you shoot. The grenades go off and make sound effects. I mean, all that is just like, they're just small distractions covering up a pile of poop laid over a mist of Febreze. To me, honestly, this event was very lacking, uh, pr pretty trash, but the respawn playlist 
not not like as a sugar fried event the respawn playlist gives you know offspring to another idea to another forthcoming of hey let's take notes the company or not the company the community says they like it it does give a better warm-up pretty much an upgrade to t-hunt you might get better use you might get better user uh retention off of that branch it off into another playlist into t uh not even to t-hunt you can upgrade t-hunt it wouldn't hurt you can upgrade t-hunt maybe change the situations make it like a weekly thing that they update give like give the game lore and then maybe uh or just make a, a playlist like it, uh, there's casual unranked ranked why not just make a subsidiary with casual you click on casual it pops down there's casual playlists it's like one in the chamber there's this playlist like a respawn playlist and then maybe there's like a like a guardian type playlist where you got to protect your leader or something like it Ubisoft, to me, has to do something, as this is their best game. Unless they are really trying to push Rainbow Six Quarantine, may it, maybe that could be like a standalone type social event, or just be an add-on into the game, like how Call of Duty did Warzone as a separate uh, game as its own, but it was free. So maybe they could, they could try and do something like that, Rainbow Six Quarantine's free, or they can just, which they'll probably do, try and get more money, bring out more shitty skins on this game, which... To be fair, at the beginning of the game, I've probably only bought at least, with my own actual money, I think three skins. They were elites, Jaegers, Thermite, and actually, no, that's about it. I think that is actually it. I think I only had to, I actually had to buy a, a pack of points just because the characters wouldn't pop up on my, on my, um my roster. And I actually put a context to burn everything. They were saying that like, oh, it's an error and all that. And I just didn't want to wait, so I just bought the characters back. And yet I have the season pass, so how redundant is that? But Ubisoft still has a way to go. I mean, the playlist as a whole, as I've said again, it's a step towards something right. But in terms of the actual event, which would be done in a couple days, it's a shit. To me, it's shit. But other than that, I wanted to keep the short and simple. There's really nothing much to showcase this. Other content creators have already showcased the damn near trash skins that they've released and so forth with the new season about to come up upon us i'll be releasing a new video on that thank you for joining me in this video this far into the video that didn't make any sense but this is going to be golly signing out until the next video make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and look for, for oh my gosh i am ruining this so but i'm not even going to cut it honestly this this video, it should have been at least less of the event. It's just not that great. And I'm just going to cut it off right there. I appreciate you sticking far into this video. Comment, pog at the end of the video if you have actually listened this far. And as always, stay godlike. Don't buy any skins, but stay godlike.